Well, it's the game that many people have been waiting for this evening at the Happy Bet International Darts Open, live from the Saxon Arena in Riesa in the east of Germany. Dennis Nielsen, formerly runner-up in Sweden's Strongest Man, against Steve Beaton, the bronze Adonis, the reigning and defending multiple-time winner of World Sex Man. These two clashing for a place in the second round. Darrell Gurney, the number five seed, awaits the winner of this one. And this in the quarter of death. A real tough section of the draw. Steve Beaton, a man who won on the Pro Tour not very long ago. His first title for four years, Steve Beaton Day, as it will be remembered and celebrated annually. Or at least until he wins another one. And maybe, maybe it could be this weekend. We've seen the bronze Adonis threaten to go and win a Euro Tour title this year. He has won one already in 2013, the German Darts Masters. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is Steve to throw first. Him on. And it is the bronze Adonis to throw first in this one. Paul Nicholson and me, Dan Dawson, in the commentary box for this one. Paul picking up on the fact that the bronze to Don is not quite as bronze as we've seen him of late. Maybe he's gone down a peg on his thick tan. Well, there is the Steve Beaton Adonis bronzing scale, which goes right from regular colour to creosote. Usually, of late, he's been closer to the creosote end of it. I don't know, under this light, he looks a bit more Steve-like. Yeah, yeah, it might have just been a bit of a dodgy light on the wall come, to be fair. Yeah, let's blend the bulb. Dennis Nielsen of Sweden. Someone who I last saw at Lakeside. Playing oh, against right. someone that I know from the northeast of England. Very good player by the name of Ryan Joyce. Yeah. Someone to watch out for in the future. Absolutely. He is destructive when he gets going. Watch out for him in the future. But now it's Dennis Nielsen. Who... To try and get on terms with Steve Beaton here. 100. Good steady start. Somewhat looks like Stone Cold Dennis Nielsen. Yeah. There's a strong look for a strong man. The Iron Man. His nickname. Steve Beaton started this match very strong indeed. Double top for 13 darts, and that is one of the reasons why he made the final in Maastricht and why he's won an event this year. Very good indeed. You gotta see it. Second in Swedish strongman. Of all the countries in the world, Sweden's got some strong men up there with the Norwegians, the Finns, the Icelandics. Well, look, you know, when you live in a country that for significant chunks of the year only gets about four hours of daylight, I suppose lifting stuff up and putting it down again is probably, you know, just something you do to pass the time. Isn't the mountain the guy from Game of Thrones? Is he not a Swede? 100. I know the guy you're talking about. I'm pretty sure he's from Iceland. Oh, he's in Iceland, is he? I know he's from up that way. I say like, like I'm talking about Berwick or something, but yeah, Nick. <laughs> That's the north. Proper up north. Yeah. Near the North Pole. Not north of Watford. Yeah. As most people in England would say it is up north. Yeah. Well. No liberal metropolitan elites in the comedy box here in Risa. No, we just love darts. Doesn't matter where they come from. Oh. Virginia. Not a big fan of that visit from Steve Beaton. Dennis Nielsen looking well placed. We you mentioned the, the Steve Beaton scale. I mean, the first leg was well in top terms, shelf. Yeah, in this, is, um, this is this is officially on the floor as far as Steve Beaton's concerned. Not his best leg ever. This could get him back in it though. Oh, Steve! This is out on the first one eighty. One forty one. I'd like to see that one hit this weekend on the back of two one eighties, but it is the Euro Tour. It'll probably never happen. No, probably about it, my man. Nielsen knocks off the 41 to leave a two dart at. That's a bit of a blocker dart, but beaten staying there. It's a great effect. And he's right back in this leg. He was nowhere, Steve Beaton. He's only two points shy, although that is a, a big difference with these checkouts. 
because this surely it's top's top. So he's moving across. Hmm. Maybe top's tops was the wise wise shot in that instance. Steve Beaton has made a career on steals like this. Not gonna steal this time. 62. Dennis requires 40. Dennis Nielsen will just take Oof. the double getting hit. He's getting closer. That is a guy this time. And he uses it. 21 darts. He'll take it. Steve Beaton effectively had a leg off there. Yeah, well, the last dart found the target. The second dart was probably a bit north, you know, Berwick. But the first one, that was Iceland. That was way north. That's good. Very good. Yeah, Dennis Nielsen, good player. World Cup with Magnus Karras. I think that 180 card spoke the words that all of us were feeling. Steve Hart. We all love Steve B. Doesn't even need words, does it? No, it doesn't. I said in Maastricht, 16. I would petition for Steve Beaton to be put in the Hall of Fame. Consider this another signature. I am wanting him in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, I don't think you'll get many people complaining with that. The bronzed Adonis. There are other people who... Oh. Plen plenty. Lloydy. Yeah. Now there is a number prime one. candidate for the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. Who did we have inducted into the Hall of Fame this year? Do you recall? Did we have any inductees? I had to, I was the first person to leave the Dorchester because oh, I had my last train. I left before Peter Manley made his speech. Oh, right, you didn't flounce out because you weren't an inductee yourself. Oh, no, that nominated yeah. for awards. <laughs> it's probably for the naughtiest <laughs> commentary or naughtiest general of the behavior. Year. Most fines or something. Well... That is a hotly contested title. Beaten, that's a good guide. And doesn't use it. So Shanghai for Nielsen to get a break of throw and go into the lead in this one. Well, in the last game, we saw two of these finishes from Richie Corner. Dennis Nielsen is having a crack at this one, and he gets it. That's three we've seen in a matter of 20 minutes. Brilliant from the sweep. Well, look. The Scandinavian and, and Baltic qualifiers, as we've had, they changed the qualifying structure for the Euro Tour this year. So instead of just having UK qualifiers and European qualifiers, we've got the Christoph Ratajski qualifier, which is won by Christoph Ratajski 11 times out of 12. Nandor what Bejek, the only other guy to come through that. And we've got the Nordic and Baltic qualifier for the Scandinavian players. And it is fair to say that Baltimore. considering they only get one place in each Euro Tour event, those guys have overachieved. Because we've seen runs from Ulf Seder, Tim Viljana, Dennis Nielsen, this is his first appearance on the Euro what Tour. He's number three in the Scandinavian rankings. Now, I was talking to one of the guys who does a lot of the organising on the Scandinavian Tour, and he is saying that they only get the elite from Scandinavia Six, playing in that league. Tim Viljana is bossing it, but Dennis Nielsen third in the table. Marco Cantelay, number two. So Ulf Seder's not even in that top three. We've seen Major Vinica. Another guy who's come through there. But they're saying, we're having to play mini lake sides just to qualify for these. Nielsen had to come through 16. four or five of the top players in Scandinavia just to get here. I mean, Kim Vujan, we've seen the kind of darts that Kim can throw. Looks a very, very good player, Kim Vujan. Well, he is a very good player. As Nielsen looks to pile into this to leave double 12, you would think, yeah, we're going to give it a zoom just to give him a hint. Yeah, go at it. One, and he did, but he couldn't quite force it in there. It took a while for Kim to qualify for one of these because it is tough Why? coming through that Scandinavian qualifier. Dennis requires 64. Well, Dennis Nielsen has taken his chance. That chance is double top. And he book ended the last visit really well with it. Doesn't get it, but he will be back. And just to emphasize what you were saying, he, he beat Ulf Seder to get to this stage. Before that, it was Cantilla. Before that, Henrik Primdahl. He wants to take his chance. Which is right now on tops. And another tops it is. 3-1 lead. Got to ask, is the slower pace of Dennis Nielsen getting in the way of the rhythm of the Adonis? Well, it may be, but 
Steve Beaton still averaging in the low 90s. It's solid. It's, you've just got to say that Nielsen has taken chances when they presented themselves, and that 120 checkout was a big blow in this one. But it's, it's looked just very solid from Dennis Nielsen. Let's not forget as well, the last time that Steve Beaton played the Nordic and Baltic qualifier in the first round was in Sindelfingen. Last year, was it last year or was it this year? It was against Ulf. First round, Ulf won. 100. Mm. So Steve's record against Nordic and Baltic qualifiers isn't brilliant. Well, not many people are, to be honest. I say they've been overachieving, they've been winning more games than been losing in general. Magnus Karras, of course, had that run in Gibraltar when he made the semi finals. Well, Magnus is a. <laughs> He's the Swedish beaten. Oh, wait, no, he kind of is, though, isn't he? I mean, they were, they were playing Lakeside and World Masters at the same time back in the early and mid 90s. 43. Just get the feeling they're the kind of guys who are going to be immortal. Steve Beaton will forever be with us, well, as will Magnus Karras. 53-year-old Steve Beaton is showing no signs of even thinking about quitting the game because he is of the firm belief that when he plays well, he can win things, and he's shown that he's completely right in that assessment. And he had a run at the match play last year as well, which shows that he can do it in big TV tournaments. Ali Pally isn't his friend, he knows that, but... You know, 16. we still saw Steve Beaton win his opening round at Ali Pali, which was a step forward for him, as he looks at another one of those for double eight. And it's a beauty from Beaton. A thing of beauty. Finish was pretty good too. He's got some fans out there, Steve Beaton. It's great when you hear 3,000 people Asian singing pie. someone's name, but it's ever so comical when one guy is singing it, especially when they're dressed as a banana. Well, no, we are not in commentary. I might be out there making it a duet. But Dennis Nielsen still has his nose in front. Dennis Nielsen, a forklift truck driver by trade. 100. Which, I mean, it, it's kind of like having a dog and barking yourself, because you get the feeling that Dennis Nielsen could just... I mean, well, you don't need the forklift truck, do you? That's just laziness. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 yeah. Maximum from beaten. He can't call himself a strong man and get a forklift truck to do all the work. That's like getting a bow and arrow through your darts. Well, I, I mean, I did. Oh, look at this. Hitting back. Oh, not quite. Would have left the 136 that Beaton's just taken out, but as it is... Adonis is going to get down to a finish first. 16. And that's a bit of a fr frustrating one for Beaton. Some players have looked at the bullseye of that last one, because an extra five points if you hit the 25 don't need... You know, one treble gets you a dart at a double rather than a dart at the ball. He's old school. Mm. Yeah, a bit like Ronnie Hybrex. Indeed. 16. And as Ronnie Hybrex showed us, sometimes old school is the best school. 11. Bullseye. Oh, old school! It's Steve the best Beaton. school! Like Steve, to Steve Beaton is the chairman. He is the dean of the old school. And there is the proof. Sometimes you just see finishes that are so pretty. It's like looking at a Van Gogh yeah. with a tan. One Finishes of wall 20, 1, 2, 1, and 1, 3, 6. All of them sumptuous efforts. Six been some finishes the last couple of games, isn't there? Well, Richie, how many did Richie Corner play? Yeah, three one, pluses? 120, 120, and a 147 to bookend the match. That's Not some proper bad. finishing. Two and six fours today, both from players who lost. 16. If you like a big finish, then the Happy Bet International Darts Open is the tournament for you, it would seem. We've got the seeded players in action as yet. 122. Beaten no stranger to providing a spectacular climax. Saw that earlier this year on the Pro Tour. 140. 
That is some sort of statistic. 100% on doubles. But when he's in the zone, Steve Beaton, that's not a shock. I'm talking about the statistics, not the five dancing bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Although that's not really a shock on a Euro Tour event nowadays. But he's left another ton plus, and he quite fancy beaten to get one of the treble 20s in one of his first two darts. And if he does, oh, now that makes it a bit trickier. Well, in the past, we have seen that finish from Michael Smith. You know, bull, 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 bull to finish it. That was against Ian White, wasn't it? And that, that's, that's very new school, isn't it? That is incredibly new school. Almost insulting oh, to the old school. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, Dennis Nielsen. Iron Man! Look at that from Dennis Nielsen. The spectacular finishes continue with a 160. Well, you don't want to get in the way of that, right, Duke? That strong celebration after a strong finish. And you know what? I quite like that he's just taking a moment there because how often do you see it? I mean, look, he might kick off 26 here. Let's just see. There's the 20. No, I, I do like that. How many times do you see somebody take out a massive finish, huge celebration, they've broken the throw, and then they're straight on the hockey again, and they haven't calmed down, and they only put in a 60 or a 45 or a 41, something like that. And he's purposefully taken a moment. And you, you might, I mean, I know you're a player who really didn't give two hoots what your opponent thought about what you were doing on stage. But there is kind of a pressure to get on with the game, 100. isn't there? Particularly when you've just done something like that, rubbing your opponent's nose in it. You've celebrated well. You've earned that celebration. You deserve it. But they're waiting for you to get on with the game. They just 100. want to get on with it rather than dwell on what you've just done to them. Correct. And just there's a pressure. It takes confidence to just take a step. No, no I need this time. I'm allowed this time. I'm going to take it. 16. Yeah, because sometimes that adrenaline, when it flows, it's almost overwhelming. Mm. And you need that big deep breath just to say, well, the job's not done. Yes, I've got my fourth 100. leg if I'm Dennis Nielsen right there, but I've still got to get two more. Got to compose myself for that, so you're absolutely right, Dan. And he's doing a decent job of this. He's putting Steve Beaton under all sorts of pressure. That 160, arguably the finish 100. of the day. Oh, well, there have been some absolute belters. But this game has provided some... Real crackers. 1-2-1 one, one from Beaton, 1-3-6 one, from Beaton, but the 1-60 from Dennis Nielsen. Three legs in a row that we've had. Big checkouts. Oh, dear. And six darts from 141. 51. Well, you might need more than that. Beaton has an opportunity to pressure here. Needs troubles and now. Nine that six. one. Dennis, you require 90. What's he going to do? 20s is the insurance. Shot. Big 20 again. Oh, wow. Well, well I never. There's old school, there's new school, and then there's just that. I'm, I'm not even sure. I am flailing my arms like Conor McGregor in the octagon because I haven't got a clue what I've just seen. I have no idea. I've never seen the like. You go for the 20s. To go 2020 bull, wow. you hit the single 20, and then you just think, all right, well, I'll go travel 10 now. Just completely abandoned plan A. To go to plan your F or G and execute it to perfection. And, well, look, in a, in a game that has seen some incredible big finishes, that one is one of the most eyebrow-raising of the lot. You could actually classify that as a three-darter. Why? Because it's single, treble, double. I've never seen that in all my years watching darts. It's a Weird. strange one. Both effective, and yet, it looks great when it's hit. If he'd have missed that tops, we would oh, have said he was a fool. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have said that to his face. I mean, look at it. Oh, yeah, I would have texted him. He can, yeah, he can probably lift a Ford Cortina high above his head. He could throw a child into the sun. But... Well, I'm not going to call him a fool. I don't know what fool is in Swedish, but I'm not even going to look it up. Because he hit the double top. Anyway. Well, a straight ton here leaves a Shanghai. And a 60... Leaves the 160, which we know he can take out, but Beaton has had a couple of ton plus checkouts. Treble 18. Not going to happen. Oh. And Beaton 
Beaton doesn't doesn't trust that he's coming back to the board here. And he shouldn't. Oh, but he will. He's coming back. And I know that Steve Beaton is very much a traditionalist when it comes to finishes and not into the whole big celebration stuff. And right now, all he cares about is getting that one and two more to steal this game from Dennis Nielsen. What an intriguing contest. It really is. Yeah. Seen some games today, but this one is just weird and wonderful at the same time. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. We've had some weird. Six Most eight. of it has been wonderful. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show you don't need stratospheric averages to have an intriguing game of darts. And they always help, but the finishing has been spellbinding in this one. And all Steve Beaton wants to do now is the kitchen sink. And I don't even think that would be enough for a strong man to be hit with. Well, we shall see. A couple of tons for Dennis Nielsen. Solid stuff. But if Beaton can snagle a break of throw here. One, and try to place that last dart in there. Not quite. But he's doing a very good job, Steve Beaton, right now. Not one bead of sweat on that brow of the Swede. 100. So he only kicked off 60 in this leg, uh, Dennis Nielsen. He actually added 40 points there on the scoreboard just for a moment. I thought I've, my eyes deceived me. But it could prove important. Because an extra 40 points taken off Dennis Nielsen's score here. Well, it could be the difference between being on a finish and not. And Steve Beaton, he gets 60. this leg. He's got the throw in the last leg. It's a totally different match. Steve Beaton is doing what Steve Beaton does. Double 16. Just 72. on the wrong side, but he's coming back. That is the first time Steve Beaton has had a dart at double and not taken it out in that visit. However, these are the ones you're allowed when your opponent's not on a finish. That's okay. It's next time where Beaton has to take it out in the visit. And double eight is what he looks at for a five-all game to take us all the way. Oh, it's a long way off. That one isn't though, and it is five all, and the bronze Ladonis has the throw in the decider. Well, like Spider Pig, what twist in the tail have we got left? Because this has been probably my favourite match of the day. It's been fascinating, isn't it? And I really enjoyed the last one with Richie Corner and Martin Schindler. It was a cracker. But this one. What a clash. I really wish there were two and a half thousand more fans watching this because the atmosphere would have been bonkers. Well, they've sung... They've sung Nielsen's name for a spell. You see the overall average higher for Steve Beaton because he's been clinical at the back end of legs. That's the main thing. 95. Missed three darts at double, but he's still hitting... 62, 63 percent, but they've been some big finishes. The 136, the 121. Nielsen has hit back with a 160 and a 120 of his own, but he's left the 121 again. Steve Beaton after nine darts in a deciding leg, and Nielsen has got it all on just to leave a finish, and he's staying on the 20s, isn't he? And the problem with that is, can't leave. He's left a bogey number, and that is criminal, particularly in a game where they've been taking out massive checkouts all the way through. He's not even given himself a chance, and that has allowed Beaton to do that instead of having to go the bullseye route. And that could prove the difference between success and, and defeat. Absolutely, because he has taken out a, a 160 finish. If he'd have done his maths, he could have gone out in this position, but he's not going to. But he's even allowed Beaton the grace of not having to go for a bullseye finish. And now he's got three darts at double 16. When he could have been looking at, say, 25. And double four. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's three match darts missed by Steve Beaton, and it's a 106 this time. It would be fitting for this game to be one with a ton plus finish. But has Dennis Nielsen got what it takes? Is he going to get away with it? 86 remain. Double 16 for the match. He gets it! Dennis Nielsen! It rocks! And he can't live! If living is without double 16, that's for sure. The Swede pinches a match with another tongue plus finish. What a game we've just witnessed, Dan. Five.
five ton plus checkouts in this match. Dennis Nielsen, the 106, seals the deal, beaten falls to a Scandinavian qualifier once again on the European tour. What a game of darts that was. What a win for Dennis Nielsen. Iron Man will take on Super Chin and a clash of ridiculous superhero nicknames tomorrow in round two of the International Darts Open. In one that's mine. Great, congratulations. There was there was a perfect one one oh six checkout. <laughs> congratulations. You you're happy, huh? Yeah, I'm happy. Very, I'm very happy. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Honestly, I thought Steve Steve would win that match when 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 he could uh, get his his fifth leg. I thought he would do that. Yeah, I'm have a, a good uh, first on the game. I, Practice good and I have a good um, performance. And uh, I know he's good. So, yeah. so I get a little nervous. <laughs> so. But I do 160 out there. So I think it's one of my best. Yeah. Very, very strong. Cool. See you tomorrow again. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dennis Nilsson. Er freut sich. Und ich glaube, da sieht man, wie viele Steine.